we are going to create a construct file that we can share with our team through Google. Here we go. First off, sign into construct. Then let's launch construct. And I'm just going to use a game that's already built, but I could start from scratch with a new project. Ooh, let's update construct. If you ever see these updates, it's fine. Constructs being re, you know updated all the time. So I can open a file that's already created, which we'll talk about in a little bit, or where I can create a new project, or I could go for a beginner example. And these are great ways to learn stuff. So when you're coming into here and looking at example work, I'm going to open the Ghost Shooter tutorial. It's one of the first games we did last year, and it's a lot of fun. And so right here, if you click on play, you can actually play the game. And I'm just showing this because if you haven't seen this already, some of the best ways to learn is to use something that's already built and then, oh, there you go, boom, 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 boom. All right, so that works. So let's say I want to modify this. I'm going to have some fun with it. What I do is I click here to save, and I could download it. That's fine. But I don't want to do that. I want to click Menu, Project, and I want to, sorry, Save As and Cloud Save. Cloud Save is going to give me some options, and right away it's going to take me to my Google account, and I want to log into my school district Google account, and it's going to redirect me to my Googleverse. Now, your folder structure that you have in your Google Drive uh, will look like this. So these are just folders I have in my Google Drive. Now, let me take you over to my Google Drive, and I created a folder for this school year, and I have different class stuff here. And let's go into my second period. And I'll show you that I have different things here. Now, if I click on second games, these would be games that I might want to save. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save inside this folder the game that I'm creating right here. So what I'll do is I'll search. Since I know I created a folder for this school year, 21, 22, and it's right here, I'll double click it. And there's my second period folder. Ooh, there's my games folder. And right here, if I want to change the name, I might call this Leduc version one. And you know what, here, let's be a little more precise. How about this, let's do V1, whoops, V1. Okay, I'll click save. Now, I'm gonna go back over to my Google Drive and wait for it, oh, there it is. Okay, so it's in my Google Drive. Now, if I wanna share this drive, okay, I wanna share it with people who are on my team, I need to get their email addresses. So if you go to your team folder, and I'm going to go up here to second period. Our team folders can be assigned to, now you see right here this column in between B and D, we have C. And what I do is I have our teams. So if I were to grab these people, copy, and go over to Google and paste in their email addresses here and click send, they now all have received an email with permissions to this folder. And so from now on, we can continue to work on this. And then our team would have to discuss what versions are we gonna call this V1? And then if we have, at a point, we make some changes. Like, let's say we have some kind of naming protocol for the file, so we know somebody's done working on something. And that could be the first names of our team, or v, you know, versions one, two, three, or so on. But this whole process of communicating with our team is the most important component. Now, let's go back to Construct, and let's pretend I'm going to close out of this, and let's go back into uh, our game engine, and I'm going to open up that file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Cloud, and I'm going to navigate back to my Google Drive. And if I type here, 2021-22, I just know that that folder's there. If you have a name for the folder, I mean, it, the point is just naming is helpful to find stuff. And I go to Second Period, Second Period Games, and here it is. I click Open and I wait for it to open up and I can continue working on it. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna hit save. Like I haven't done anything, so let's say if I move this, move this, you'll see that this little icon of a disk, old computer disk, it turns black once I've made a change. When I click it, it's now updated. But if I move this again, it turns black again. I hit that, now it's updated, okay? And that's it. So if I were to go back, if I would close this out and go back to my Google Drive, and change this to, if I click on it, right click or control click on a Mac, and I rename, maybe this would be called version two. Now the next person that opens it would see that I've done something to it, or I could retitle this so that people know what version they have. The other thing you can do, let's say you wanna make 
a change to it, you want to mess with it, if you go here and make a copy, now I have two copies of it. So you might do this and then change the name here to reflect your team member name that's working on different components of it to try things out. And I advise this if you think you're going to break stuff. If you're going to mess stuff up, go, go make a copy of the game and try to do the new thing you're trying to work on and see if it works. If it does, great. But again, communicate with your team so you can keep track of the naming protocols of the files. And that is how you share a file and construct.